Hello, welcome to Three Minute Thursdays. It's been a few weeks since I've done one of these. We've had a very busy summer, uh, but we're racking up lots of questions that people want answered, so here we go. Today's topic is Cotton Candy Christianity. Uh, uh, a listener wrote in and said, uh, would you address the, t- the topic of what I like to call, what he likes to call, Cotton Candy Christianity? In other words, he's saying, uh, what about uh, all of this hype in church? You've got a live band, and some people come just for the music, and you have uh, you have uh, professional, uh, or what seem to be professional musicians, singers, uh, even professional speakers a, a lot of times. You know, people who are getting up to preach like I do, you know, uh, try to be polished. I'm not all that polished. You can see that by Three Minute Thursdays. But... Cotton candy Christianity. The people who are going to uh, church or events or whatever it is just for the the high of it, the excitement of it, the the I like the music kind of thing. Well, let me say this in Luke chapter ten and verse uh, twenty seven. Uh, Jesus addresses a man who comes to him and says, uh, yeah, "How do I have eternal life?" And Jesus says, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. So, what is he saying here? He's saying that in order to have eternal life, uh, you need to to love God. You need to not just know who God is, but accept who God is and what God in Jesus Christ has done for you on the cross. That's what makes you a Christian. Now... uh, if music attracts people to where they can hear the gospel, then I think that's a wonderful thing. If the person who's speaking is the attraction that gets someone to hear the gospel, I think that's a wonderful thing. If it's whatever it is, if it's coffee and donuts that they're getting when they come through the door, uh, whatever it is that gets a person where they can hear the word of God, the gospel preached, then I'm all for it. I don't care if it's giving away hot dogs. Someone, by the way, once said to me, well, you're drawing a crowd uh, at a certain event because you're feeding them pizza. And my response was, yeah, okay. Are you going to get upset one day when somebody comes to you and says, uh, Grandpa, I now believe in Jesus Christ. Someone explained to me who Jesus Christ is and I would have never gone to hear what they had to say had it not been for the free pizza they were offering. And nobody would say that there's, you know, I wouldn't have anything to do with that. Whatever brings people to Christ. Now, I'm sure the question is, you know, once the hype's gone, the excitement's gone, then they no more, no longer act like a Christian. Folks, I told our youth group last night at Out of the Box, um, even prayer is hard work. Um, Christianity is about a relationship with Jesus Christ. Christianity is is an an awesome thing. But you get out of Christianity what you put into Christianity in this life. If you put the work in to have a prayer life and a relationship with God, then you will reap the the rewards of that. Uh, So anything in Christianity is hard work. And there are always going to be those who, who are really there just for the uh, the fun things and there's not anything we can do about that and I, there's not anything I even want to do about that because anytime anybody has the opportunity to hear the gospel I'm all for them to stay hope that helps have an awesome week see you next week